Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. I'm going to try and document a full week of my pre-season training. Minus 22. It's a bit of a nose tickler. A little bit chilly. And now I'm getting chased by a digger. <laughs> Quick! Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog series documenting my journey as a professional goalkeeper trying to reach the very highest level of the game. And if you're not new here, you might be able to figure out where I'm standing right now. As you can see, it is very cold here in Pitya in the northern part of Sweden and I am currently standing on the pitch here at the LF Arena, which is our home ground as PTA IF. You can see the scoreboard behind me. That massive pile of snow right there is pretty much where the goal mouth would be. And then you got the stands, you got the other goal at the far end somewhere through all that snow, and more stands on the other side. Not very easy to picture it right now, but three months ago, we won the league right here. For some sort of perspective, I'm going to put the camera there, I'm going to show you how much snow has fallen pretty much in the last couple of weeks. So it's about over hip height, don't know how many feet that would be, three feet? So in today's episode of the vlog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and document a full week of my pre-season training. Not necessarily bring you along to every session because that would be a very, very long vlog, but throughout the week explain which sessions I'm doing, what I'm focusing on, what I'm working on at that point. If you enjoyed today's video, I ask for only one thing, and that is that you hit that like button. It helps us to reach as many people as we possibly can, so I'd be very grateful if you could do that. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and come and join the Keeping Goals Union. Let's hope that by March, all that has disappeared because that's right where my goal is and I don't really fancy diving around in it, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm gonna head back, get in the warm because it is freezing, shock. Time to get ready for session number one of the week. A little bit bleary eyed, just got up from my nap. Every day, or at least every day that I'm training in the afternoon, I try and have a little 40 minute nap after lunch. I think sleep's something that we overlook quite a lot, seeing as it is something that helps you get rid of injuries, something that helps you prevent injuries, something that increases your performance, something that's completely free, and something that all of us enjoy quite a lot. So why not do more of it? This evening session, five till seven, in the football hall, no goalkeeping work today with the team, so let's begin the week by smashing out the first training session. Let's go. Training done, all finished. Session one of the week, tick. Tactical work today, build up play, shape, that kind of thing. So not very much from the goalkeeping side, but very important in terms of linking with the rest of the team in and out of possession. So Monday, quite a light day for me, only the one session. I'm gonna have my tea now, spaghetti bolognese, as you can see. Normally, after training, I'd have my tea, watch a film, read a book, whatever, just to chill out. This evening, I've got one of my mental sessions with Pai from Your Athletic Zone. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on when I speak to him. But yeah, strong start to the week. So session done with the guys from Your Athletic Zone. I'm gonna ping up their Instagram here. You guys can go and have a look at them. Basically, what we do is each week, I have a session. We go through goal setting, setting processes for the week. Can be technical, physical, emotional, tactical, but it's a session for me to get my concentration and my focus in place for the week of training and games when I have them. As goalkeepers, our mentality is probably our most 
important aspect of our game. So I always find it extremely important that you work on your mentality and create it into one of your biggest assets. So for today, for example, we went through everything from last week, how I felt in training, how I felt the processes were working with the extra work that I was doing, and then also recapped our goals for pre-season and whether I'm making progress in the right direction with them. But anyway, that's Monday done. I'm gonna head to bed tomorrow. We've got gym in the morning and then team training in the evening. Looking forward to that. Anyway, I will speak to you then. Good night, see you later. Good morning guys, beautiful morning here in Petia, Tuesday morning on the way to session number three of the week, plyometric session at the gym this morning, hope you guys are enjoying the fact that this GoPro doesn't bounce around when I run, that's pretty cool, normally you guys remember from last year I do plyometrics up at the track near the ground, obviously not possible at the minute, don't think there is a track at the moment, so I'm going to go to the gym do my plyometric session at the gym instead. Not sure how I'm going to get past this. We've got a problem. Oh my days. Yeah. Got through eventually. That's the car that you saw last week. That pile of snow. Look at that car. You're not getting out of there in a hurry. Definitely not getting out of that one. And now I'm getting chased by a digger. <laughs> Quick! But yeah, as I said, plyo session at the gym instead. I'm gonna adapt it slightly so that I can do the exercises within the gym. Obviously, a bit of more of a minimal space. But still be a good session anyway. I'll see you when I get there. Let's go. So session done, changing up the plyometric exercises so that it can be done in quite a tight space. Hopefully some of those exercises you'll be able to do at home as well if you haven't got much space to deal with. Now would also be a very good time to mention that the Goalkeeper Plyometrics program, which all those drills are taken from and includes many, many more, is now on sale as well. It's over on my website. The link is in the description below this video. It's an eight week plyometric training program to help you guys as goalkeepers improve your jump height, your sprint speed, and your overall athletic ability. It'll be ideal for your lockdown training. You don't need any external equipment. You don't need a gym. All you need is four cones and a skipping rope. As I said, eight week fully guided training program to help you with your plyometric training. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description below this video. This evening we're training over in Lulia, which will be really good. We've got a goalkeeping session, so I'll bring the GoPro along, show you what we get up to, and have a look at that view. Woo! Back home, lunch, nap, and I'll see you ready for training later on.
Good morning guys, Wednesday morning, a little bit later than usual, had a little bit of a lie in given how late we finished the training session yesterday, but heading off to the gym, only one session today, session number five of the week, power session at the gym, seeing as I don't have any team sessions today, today's a good day to get in my power session and really try and smash it, really try and push it, gonna be a good one, let's go. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LA BB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, okay, alright, coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LA BB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah. That's it, power session done, all finished. And that's my only training session for today done as well. So rest of the day, back home, lunch, editing work, kind of general keeping goals stuff this afternoon, early night, and then training with the team again tomorrow. One thing I will ask is when I'm in the gym, I like to listen to music, sometimes podcasts, but mainly music. I've got a playlist on Spotify with all the music that I like to listen to whilst I'm in the gym, but it's getting old, it needs a revamp. So I wanna ask you guys, what is the number one song that you enjoy listening to when you're in the gym? Comment it below this video because I need to add some new ones into my playlist. I need to shake it up a bit. Let me know your favorite song for the gym in the comments and I'll add it to the playlist. And then we might make the playlist public so that everyone could share it, that'd be quite good. Anyway, back home, lunchtime, and I'll see you tomorrow. Honey! Hey, check it.
and we're finally back 11 p.m quite a long drive to lulia so a bit late home but thursday session finished as you saw a little bit more work on crosses distribution making use of the big pitch and then i think it was a 9v9 or 10v10 game just to finish off and yeah that's thursday finished so i'm gonna head up head to bed because we've got two sessions tomorrow on friday ending the week with a bit of a bang right i will see you in the morning good night good morning guys friday morning off to i can't remember what session of the week i've lost track but off to the gym again this morning final gym session of the week strength stuff today it's a lovely clear day in Petia. not a cloud in the sky but not a cloud in the sky normally means that it's freezing cold so we're gonna have a temperature check we haven't had one yet this week yeah minus 22. it's a bit of a nose tickler a little bit chilly but i'm repping the Loughborough University hat up the scholars and I'm ready to finish off the week with a bang gym session today team session tonight team session tomorrow morning and that's it my week completely done you've probably worked out by now in the episode that my life is pretty boring at the minute training eating sleeping training again apart from watching Marvel films that's what I'm on at the moment running through the Marvel ones I'm enjoying that but that's the work that you got to put in during pre-season especially in order to be ready for when all the excitement comes and the games happen so that you can perform as well as possible i also want to say everyone's schedule is different this is my kind of full-time job so i'm going to be doing more sessions than most people i wouldn't advocate doing loads and loads of sessions if that's not what your body's ready for if that's not what is expected of you so make sure you adapt your training schedule based on what you need to do as a goalkeeper but hopefully it's bringing you some insight and you're not just getting bored with it because you can't ask for much more than jumping around in the goal every day that's as good as it gets anyway gym time again <laughs> let's go Quick turnaround today, got back from the gym, food, nap, straight up again, because we're out for a team session for this evening. Training earlier as we're in the little hall, no goalkeeping today, team stuff, but I will let you know how we do. I quite enjoy the double days. You actually get into a flow of working and you kind of stay at that level. I almost kind of train better when I have things in the morning and the evening compared to when I'm just waiting all day to train later on. So I'm excited, another session. Let's go smash it and chill. Didn't manage to get any footage at training this evening. In the small hall, no goalkeeper stuff today. It was quite a short session because we've got an early session tomorrow at Lulia. So it was only about an hour's worth of work this evening. Possession drills, real small sided games, 4v4. I was gutted, ended up losing those. So I was fuming about that, but I've had time to get over it just about. Now, a little bit of a chill this evening. I've got muesli, Greek yogurt and honey as my snack and I've got the second floor on the iPad, so that's what I'm gonna watch this evening. Then we're up early, as I said, off to Lulia for the final session of the week. That's it, and tomorrow should be a good one to finish off. So, early bed, early up, and then one more session to go. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all well. Saturday morning, nice and early. Sun's not even up yet. Last session of the week. Let's go smash it. And that is it guys, we have now finished the final training session of the week. 
It's now Saturday afternoon, Sunday completely off, apart from a little bit of recovery and stretching, but you don't need to see that. And that's it, my full week of training in pre-season. I hope you enjoyed coming along for it all. I hope it brought you some value. As you see, a lot of focus on SNC, a lot of focus within my goalkeeping on the things that I'm trying to work on, especially crosses, distribution, speed around the goal. And then as a team, a lot of work on patterns of play and putting into place everything that we want to do once we get to the season, which begins at the beginning of April. Today's session, this morning, Saturday, we did 11 v 11, treated it like a match. Red team versus gray team. Thankfully, the red team, we came out on top, 4-1 winners, so ended the week on a high. I'm excited for when we start playing pre-season games against other clubs, bringing that competitive element into it. But whatever game you're a part of, whether it's a league game or 11 v 11 in training, you still want to be winning. Today's patron of the week is Josh Stokes. Josh, thank you so much for your support. We wouldn't be able to do what we do with keeping goals if it wasn't for patrons like yourself. So thank you very much. And as a thank you, here is your Keeping Goals shout out. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, please hit that like button. It really does help us out loads. I would be very, very grateful. And if you haven't already, press subscribe, turn on notifications, come and join the Keeping Goals Union. This is probably the latest that I've ever left a vlog to make. So hopefully it'll be up in time for tomorrow, 11 a.m. UK time. I'm sure it will be. We'll get it there. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next Sunday for the next episode of Keeping Goals. I hope you have a great week. Keep chasing improvement. Look after yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Speak to you in a bit.